Hi, I'm Dr. David Dobson. Welcome to Conversations. Today, my guest is Dr. Andrewan Onora. Andrewan is a marketing researcher and lecturer. His research and teaching interests include consumer behavior, services marketing, and digital marketing. His research has been published in several peer-reviewed journals and presented in academic conferences. Andre Wan earned his PhD from National Dong Hawa University in Taiwan. He did his postdoctoral research in the Ivy Business School at Western University. Today, we will discuss Andre Wan's research on managing customer complaints on social media. It's a great pleasure to have you with me today, Andre Wan. Thank you, David. It's lovely to be here with you. Your doctoral research looked into how businesses can better leverage digital platforms to manage customer complaints. Can you share a little bit about this research? Okay, so uh, my work in this aspect connects to uh, social media as one of digital technologies and explore possible strategies uh, that companies can use on social media to benefit, to, to help the, their businesses. So especially in the context of complaint handling and service recovery. <clears throat> so my work offers insight into how companies should handle customer uh, complaints on social media. What are social media complaint handling strategies that they should use? And this topic is really important uh, in business. Why? Because according to 2023 National uh, Customer Rate Survey, 74% of uh, consumers have experienced service problems in the past year. And 79% of consumers will make the time and effort to complain about the bad incidents that they experience. As we are already in digital era, majority of these consumers complain using digital channel, such as social media. And if like, for example, if they encounter a service failure, mm -hmm. they can easily grab their phones and then open social media apps and then mention the company's uh, official account on social media and post their complaints using public message. And this will create a sense of uh, urgency for the company to respond their complaints uh, quickly and also behave positively in responding the complaints. So for companies knowing the knowing knowing how to properly handle uh, consumers' complaint on social media can help them not only to win back uh, disappointed consumers but also prevent a bad image uh, in the eyes of other consumers. Okay. So, <clears throat> but. Uh, it should be noted that social media complaint handling is quite challenging for the company itself mm -hmm. because when con uh, customer service agents are responding to uh, consumers' complaint, mm -hmm. they have several limitations on conveying their expressions like sincerity, empathy, and remorse over social media platform uh, because it is uh, social media is a computer-mediated communication channel. It's not like face-to-face -face communications. Uh, which is rich in uh, non-verbal cues. Yeah. And the text message itself, like by nature, it's it's quite neutral uh, so that how it is perceived by the readers highly depends on how the readers want to perceive it. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to do in my research is to help uh, com companies to overcome this challenge, especially to retain and win back or win back uh, disappointed consumers. Why were you interested in this topic? <laughs> so <clears throat> actually, there is a, a story behind the selection of this topic. Okay. So uh, when I just started my PhD, mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't quite sure about the topic that I would like to bring up to the table and discuss okay. with my uh, supervisor. Uh -huh. um, after my first semester finished, I went back to Indonesia for a short vacation and then come back again, came back again to Taiwan. Okay. But when I traveled back to Taiwan, uh, my my baggage got damaged. Oh, okay. So unfortunately, <laughs> I noticed the damage uh, after I left the airport. Yeah. So I decided to post something on Twitter okay. by also mentioning like the airline's Twitter account. 
<laughs> with the hope of getting a quick response from them. And it's yeah. true, they replied to my email, uh, to my tweets yeah. <clears throat> quite fast. Okay. But they kept trying to switch uh, the, the, our interactions from public okay. channel to private message. Okay. So to me, it raised my suspicion toward this airline because if they yeah. did nothing wrong with yeah. uh, in handling my complaints, yeah. why should they switch to direct message or private message? Yeah. As a complainant at that moment, like I started to think negatively toward the yeah. company. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. I also thought that this could be turned to uh, a good research. Yeah. In short, like I'm interested <laughs> in this topic yeah. and started doing this research yeah. because of my personal experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In in this research, you, you found that handling customer complaint is an important factor for consumer retention. Can you explain why dealing with customer complaints is crucial to retain customers? So uh, the, the relationship between consumer and company are basically quite similar to human to human relationship. Yeah. So uh, if we were disappointed by others, we may not want to play or get close to them again, yeah. unless we forgive them for their mistake or wrongdoings. If we put the, this into a business context, then consumers uh, normally will get disappointed uh, when they encounter a service failure. Mm -hmm. And majority of them will submit or file a complaint to the company. And if the company do not handle the complaint properly, <clears throat> mm -hmm. there is a high chance that those disappointed consumers will avoid doing business again with the company mm -hmm. or even badmouth uh, the company to other mm -hmm. people. This will negatively impact their business. Yeah. And on, <clears throat> on the other hand, properly hand, dealing with complaints can help company to gain forgiveness yeah. from consumers, as forgiveness plays a crucial role in re-establishing mm -hmm. a broken relationship. Mm -hmm. It is safe to say that its presence can help the company to retain uh, those consumers. Yeah. That is why dealing with Complaints in is crucial to retain uh, consumers. Yeah. From my research, yeah. uh, I found two main strategies that mm -hmm. can contribute to uh, the effectiveness of mm. <clears throat> complaint handling on social media. Mm. The first one mm. is uh, service recovery transparency, which refers to the extent to which a service recovery and the interactions between uh, the complainant and, and company can be consumed by other people, by other consumers on social, on the platform. So the nature of social media as an open public platform uh, makes other consumers on those on this platform can observe the interactions and yeah. the feasibility of this uh, process is an important factor that positively influence complainant's experience and evaluation to uh, the process itself. Okay. So yeah, this is my, the, uh, the first one. And the second one is about emoji. So nonverbal cues play an important role in yeah. employee, uh, customer service agent, and custom, uh, consumer interactions okay. during the complaint handling process. Because basically, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is some limitation for the agent to so customer service agent to express their uh, emotion. Mm -hmm. So emoji basically serve as the means of expressing uh, customer service agents feeling during the interactions. Interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that that is the highlight of my uh, research findings. I noticed that your experience is more in like a, um, a service industry. Can the finding of your research be generalized to other businesses as well? Uh, yeah, I, actually, uh, if we talk about service industry itself, I think that uh, my result seems to be generalizable to okay. other type of businesses okay. because the strategy that I investigated are yeah. common strategies and can okay. be applicable to uh, other businesses as well. Okay. Uh, however, they, they, there might be other factors that are not captured in my research Okay. My previous research okay. that might influence uh, the 
the effectiveness of those two strategies, for example, type of the type of uh, the failure, like core or non-core failure or brand fam uh, familiarity. And this kind of factor might have interactions with the uh, complaint handling strategy that I propose and produce different results. So further, uh, uh, for further research still might need to be conducted to test it. Okay. Based on your research, what advice do you have for businesses on managing customer complaints? So based on my research, I can conclude by five main advice probably for uh, managers, especially customer uh, service managers. Okay. Uh, first one is interactions between uh, consumers and the customer service agents. It's really crucial. So companies need to uh, empower their customer service agents, train them to be able to provide a credible explanation and recognize complaints, complainants, emotional uh, responses by providing care and empathy and sincerity to calm customers uh, who are experiencing unpleasant situation. Okay. Second one is company, company needs to avoid channel shifting channel shifting from public to private or direct message to uh, gain consumer forgiveness when dealing with complaints that posted in the public channel. So company needs to uh, stick with using public message <clears throat> unless complaint, the, uh, unless, unless the complaints are sent using direct message. Uh, the third one is Responding to uh, complaints using public message is highly important for various conditions in which uh, companies are not able to provide responses with uh, conventional strategies such as apology, explanation, uh, personalization, or quick responses. For example, when when a company uh, receive a lot of complaints or receive a lot of tweets, let's say in X platform, they might need more time to reply to those uh, complaints, right? So if they have delayed response, then this uh, uh, responding in public message is really helpful, yeah. especially if the complainants uh, yeah. submit a complaint using public message yeah. as well. Yeah. And the fourth one is, uh, companies need to use emojis okay. to convey emotions okay. co corresponding to unpleasant incidents experienced by the uh, complainants okay. that cannot be fully conveyed using text only. Okay. And a plating face emoji okay. can be a good choice to convey firm sincerity and empathy to uh, the complainants to gain their forgiveness. Yeah. And lastly, the uh, Using emojis in handling complaints on social media is crucial for companies that have an informal communication style in uh, social media, on social media. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is like the highlight or the main advice for uh, companies based on my research findings. To continue this type of research, um, as you mentioned, technology continues to evolve. Um, what advice do you have for future researchers? Uh, so for those who are interested in doing research in complaint handling and recovery area, yeah, they, may, they might want to study interactions between, like I said before, uh, AI, interaction between AI or chatbot okay. with the complainants. Okay. Uh, such as how to increase uh, consumers' perceived humanness okay. uh, toward chatbot or AI assistant. Yeah. They can also explore more in nonverbal communication yeah. cues because this type of technologies are totally different with face-to-face, uh, -face, yeah. like I mentioned also earlier. Yeah. Or if we talk about AI, virtual assistant or service bot, they can also look uh, at the topic of AI or robot failure, yeah, such as investigating consumer tolerance for AI or robot yeah. failure. So this is these two are really interesting topic. Yeah. And another piece of advice is if they have if uh, if they have experience 
a bad incident or complain to a company, they, they can also try to think about what aspects they they want to uh the they want the company to highlight yeah. when handling their complaints yeah. because reflecting on uh personal experience really helps us in exploring our research uh, further yeah <laughs> so uh andrew you yeah. you finish your phd you did post doctoral research uh what's next for you so uh, i'm gonna go to australia to continue my journey as a lecturer or assistant professor if you call it in north american context okay. Okay. Uh, in perth <laughs> in one of university in perth Okay. Congratulations. Uh, thank you for your time, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, David.